What's going on everybody, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Power of the Primes Dinobot Slug. This is the deluxe class version of Slug or Slag, however you choose to interpret the name. Uh, but here he is, the Dinobot Triceratops, looking pretty nice in robot mode in the package here. And I gotta say, this robot mode is quite hefty for a recent... Uh, tra uh, Transformers Deluxe. Uh, you can see we have Swoop here. He's quite a bit heavier than Swoop, at least uh, how he feels in hand. Uh, he's got his blaster and a fist or foot or something. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's a fist uh, right here in his hand. It might be a foot. I don't really know. Um, but you can see the item, whatever it is, becomes prime armor that can attach to his chest or his back, uh, depending on which mode he's in. Uh, you can also wield his weapon in either mode. And you can see the uh, mini Prime Masters here. Microna, Specter Prime, Leech Maximo kind of chilling out uh, on his uh, body here. And it says right here, How will the hot-headed Dinobot warrior wield the power of the Primes? Which feels, I think, to me like the kind of just general statement they're going to make on all of these figures. How will it handle whatever, whatever. Uh, he's got some nice relief on the side here. It's got an image of the combined mode on the side here, and then some nice imagery of the dinosaur mode on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy open, and we're going to check him out in hand right now. All right, guys, and here he is, Dinobot Slug from Power of the Primes. Uh, so first up, let's take a quick look at his collector card. Um, it's very nice to get some, uh, you know, an image of Slug in dino mode here, shooting some fire out of his face. Now, from my understanding, all of these cards in every figure are totally randomized as for which prime they're going to be attached to. Uh, so, for instance, this card, if you flip it over, uh, this slug is Vector Prime Slug. So he's called Vector Slug. So if you pick this guy up on your you know, store shelf, you may get Vector Prime, you may get Amalgamous Prime or whatever it is. Uh, Alchemist Prime, is that a, a Quintus Prime? I don't know. Whatever, you might get a different guy. Uh, but for this one, it's Vector Slug, and it's time travels to challenge history's greatest warriors. So that's what's going on there. There are no actual stats. It just shows that uh, in a bunch of different languages. And you get that little picture. So that's your collector card. He also comes with this uh, pile of stuff. He's got a blaster which we'll take a look at shortly, and this uh, fist thing, which we'll also take a look at uh, in a moment. But <clears throat> in the meantime, here he is, Slug. Uh, very squat, very uh, old-school dinosaur-like, which I guess is kind of what you're going for. But I'm not a big fan of how, how his head is just, like, scrunched into his body. He's got, like, no neck. Um, but due to the transformation joint for the combined mode, you can actually kind of dislodge his head a little bit here, which I'll try and do, just like that. And then you can pop that up, and look, now he suddenly has a neck, and I think that actually improves his appearance a lot, <laughs> quite a lot. Uh, it's a very simple step. Um, and in fact, that may be kind of what you're, you're meant to do in dinosaur mode. You want to push this all the way down for robot mode, definitely. Uh, but for dino mode, I think it works pretty well. Now, he does have some nice red horns here. These are a softer plastic, uh, a little bit bendy. Um, they have a little give to them, rather, just to make them safer. Uh, but they are definitely solid plastic, you can see. I'm not like you can't like flick them like the uh, what call it like the movie uh, slug uh, could do. Uh, he's also got some nice peg holes on his legs and his back, uh, which you can attach this fist thing to, uh, should you so desire. Like a battering ram kind of weird thing, or on his legs, whatever. You can also attach his uh, blaster to that. Should you so choose. Uh, he's got some peg holes here in the front as well. Uh, other while the other articulation, he's, his mouth can open. It's a very, very tight joint there, but it can open uh, to reveal 
a weird <laughs> gaping maw. Uh, his head hiding underneath there. And nice Autobot Tampo right there. You get another Autobot Tampo on the top of his head. His eyes. <clears throat> some nice paint work around here. Some nice like champagne gold. Uh, he's got the gold underneath the clear plastic for his head. He's got the gold underneath the clear plastic for his tail and on his legs here. And uh, he does have these nice little tech details, which I believe are tampoed on, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. So uh, don't quote me on that, but it certainly feels and looks like those are also tampoed on. So <clears throat> very, very cool. He's got some articulation in his four legs. Uh, you can rotate those all the way around. Um, you can also, I guess, hold this gun under there if you want to be weird about it, but that's not <laughs> that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, so he can rotate at the biceps swivel there. He can also bend at the elbows and back as well a fair amount. And uh, he does have a soft ratchet there as well. The legs can go all the way around in the back as well, and you can get a bend in the back knee uh, just due to that transformation joint so that's pretty cool all right so let's get this guy into robot mode and to do that it's pretty simple what we're going to do is we're going to come back here split the tail and we're just going to uh, unpeg these like so and bring them out to the sides they're going to take the back half of the body and if you've ever had you know, one of these Triceratops Transformers before, you're pretty familiar with how this all goes. You're unfolding the legs just like that. <clears throat> We're going to bring these, uh, the t Triceratops legs down to uh, show off these heel spurs, which might might easily be missed, honestly, uh, because they're tucked up in there and they're pretty hard to spot. Uh, but if you rotate these down, it'll bring them down, and then you just bring them out until they kind of soft click into place and these will really actually they don't look like they do a lot but they actually help quite a lot to balance this figure who normally would be kind of a back heavy toy but thanks to those joints uh, or thanks to those spurs really does a great job so now we're going to go ahead and collapse the tail into the back of the legs pretty nice uh, way of hiding all of that and then we're going to bring the dinosaur legs up like this we're going to fold those over, and it's a little hard to see, but the dinosaur feet have a little tab here. It's actually going to tab into this part of the leg, so I'll actually bring this up and just tab that in. I'll just swing this around. Kind of went the long way around with that. I'll tab that in, and now you can see we've got the legs done, and he's... Even though I just flipped him around, even though he's kind of leaning back there, he's still nice and solid because he does have those nice heel spurs in the back. So we're going to bring the arms down here and just flip the fists out just like that, which does leave his forearms hollow. But, you know, that's it's pretty much par for the course these days, I'm afraid. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and bring the dinosaur head forward until it clicks in and it locks into place and then bring the dinosaur mouth down to reveal the robot head and there we have slug in robot mode okay so in robot mode the arm articulation of course stays the same you still got that elbow bend you still got that full rotation there um <clears throat> head does technically have a rotation um, but <clears throat> good luck really getting any kind of <laughs> any kind of movement out of that other than like you know 20 degrees from side to side not a whole lot of uh, range there he does have a waist swivel he does have ball jointed hips although they are quite limited uh, I suppose you could kind of work around that a little bit and get that a little bit more out to the side but they are rather limited, but, you know, he's not supposed to be the most agile guy, I guess. Um, he does have a little post there for an action stand. And, of course, you can bend him at the knees. Although, he does get a little bit stopped up at the knee bend there as well. So, not 
not the most knee articulation going on this guy. His knee actually bends a lot, but for uh, the amount that it moves, you don't get that much bend out of it, which is kind of a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. You get a thigh swivel, and, of course, you know, you get a weird combiner port in his chest if, if that's something you're looking for. Uh, but he looks pretty cool. Um, I will say it's a little weird to have a slag or slug or whatever you want to call him that doesn't have wings on his back. Um, that is a little strange to me, um, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of come to expect for my Dinobots to be like, you know, have those wings, kind of making them look bigger uh, and beefier. So I, I don't know. I'm still still kind of getting used to that. So he does come with this handy dandy blaster, which he can stick in his hand. He does not come with a sword, which I'm a little bit bummed about. Um, <clears throat> but he does have this big, crazy fist thing uh and you can do a couple of things with this you can do very similar to the titans return or uh combiner wars rather and uh make like hulk hands out of this guy very similar to rook uh where you can like pop this over his existing fists i guess if that was a thing you wanted to do just like that <clears throat> and now he's got like one big beefy hand that he can punch things with uh Supposedly, you can also use this as a chest armor thing, which I'll show up in a second. Um, I do like the uh, kind of using this as a shield scenario. I think it looks pretty good that way. So the chest armor thing, it's like the whole Prime, Power of the Primes gimmick, um, is that these little shield things come with all of these guys, and they have these little clear plastic bits in them, and you can take this out. And it does, it's not on a it's not on a hinge or anything. It just pops right out, uh, which is a little strange to me. Um, so beware, you may lose a ton of these at some point. Uh, but it, it basically just has a little cavity here that's obviously meant for a prime master or a uh, <clears throat> well, in this case, a, uh, a, a titan master which is what I have here. I've got Misfire, or Aimless, rather, from Misfire. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and put him in just to kind of simulate <laughs> what you'd be dealing with here. Uh, so he pops in like that. And then this whole this whole shenanigans goes on to the chest like so. I think you may have to flip the hand fingers down, though. Can't get that working, but... And, yeah, there it is. Now he's primed up <laughs> and honestly um and it may be just because i'm using this guy but he looks a little bit silly uh you know this is not particularly doing anything uh for me but you know to each their own you know you might you might really enjoy this gimmick um as for me i'm just glad we have like a, a g1-esque dinobot slug uh, <laughs> finally available to us now. Um, <clears throat> and when you take this off and take this guy out and you just have this guy left, uh, what do you got? You got a pretty decent, uh, deluxe Dinobot figure. So, you know, for that, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, he's certainly not perfect. He's got his flaws. Um, he's a little bit small in dinosaur mode. He's a little bit stumpy in dinosaur mode. Um, Robot mode is kind of missing his wings. Uh, he does have an arm and a leg mode as well, but um, <clears throat> I'll show that off once I get Grimlock in hand. I don't really think there's any need to show that off in this particular review. It's just him in dinosaur mode, basically, with a fist on his butt. <laughs> well, you just kind of, you know, you twist him up like this, and you do that, and then you take this out, and then he's an arm. So, you know, you get the idea. You've seen Combiner Wars figures. You've seen this. <laughs> it's the same exact thing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but overall, I do recommend them if you can find them. Uh, I know they're trickling out to stores now, so you should be able to pick one up before too long. I'm sure they'll be uh, sweeping the nation by January. But um, in the meantime, yeah, pretty solid figure. Uh, I do do quite like him. He's got a lot of nice points, and he's, he's well-articulated and, and, you know, not 
not overly expensive, which, you know, is nice for Dinobots these days. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll have more Power of the Primes coming at you real soon, so stick around for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.